Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Uh, it's time for my January empties. Um, it's currently the 20th of January and I have to film my empties because this is the situation. Um, my box is overflowing. Everything doesn't fit in there. I even had to take something out. So let's start with that. It's a Listerine Total Care mouthwash. Um, I love this stuff. I've already brought a new bottle and opened it up and I'm using it and I probably stick with it to be honest I just I really like it um, next I'm um, no rhyme or reason to what I'm pulling out guys I'm just going from the top um, Walita almond sensitive skin body wash I really like this um, when my skin is dry or sensitive um, it gives a really, really subtle, gentle foam. Um, it's almost like it's not there. It does have a, like a sort of thin, creamy texture, um, but it doesn't leave like a greasy residue on the skin, but I still feel really clean after using it. So I really like that one. I would recommend it to anyone, dry, sensitive skin. It's good stuff. Um, oh my God. This Snow Kissed Sugar, it is a Shea and Vitamin E shower gel from Bath and Body Works. Holy fucking shit, I love this stuff. I love it. It isn't drying at all, um, and it just, it goes so far. You only need such a little amount of it to, like, clean your whole body. I fucking love this. I, like... And it smells so good too. I'm pretty sure I have another one of these in a different scent in like my stash. Um, but I will 100% buy more of these. I've probably got enough body wash to last me through the year. So I don't expect to be buying any anytime soon. But if I do use them up uh, by the end of the year, when they do, they're like... They usually do a sale where you can get like buy three products and you get two free or maybe it was buy five and you get two free I don't know anyway they usually have some sort of deal on uh, at the end of the year they might even have the mid-year I don't know um, but I would definitely stock up then I love this fantastic stuff uh, okay I can do a bunch of hair products that I see I've got Kerastase um, therapist or the sorry this is the resistance range so there's the shampoo and conditioner except you use them the other way around so you actually use the conditioner first to protect the hair and then you shampoo it um, I I don't mind this range and I do actually have not sure if I've got one each of these or two each of these in my cupboard as backup. I can't quite remember, but um, I do have these backups. However, I wouldn't repurchase them. Um, I don't feel like it does enough for my hair. It's just, I don't know. It's not the best. Like, let me pull out something that I did enjoy. This is the It's a 10 five minute hair repair for blondes. Um, I really like the way this leaves my hair feeling. Whereas, like, this leaves my hair really soft, smooth, a little bit of shine. Um, it doesn't, like, tangle up. It's just, it's really nice. And it doesn't weigh down my hair, which I love. Whereas, I feel like these don't offer enough conditioning treatment on their own. Like I have to use something after them, but also it weighs my hair down. So it's, yeah, these I'm not a huge fan of. I wouldn't actually like buy them again. I'll use what I have. That's fine. Not a problem. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one. I'm going to say this is fantastic, right? This is really good. If you can get this easily wherever you are, highly recommend it. However, the only place I know I can buy this is online. And I'm not going to make an online order just for this because I would compare it to the Oblepica Siberica, um, like, le uh, not leave in, sorry, the hair conditioning mask thing. So I know I can go to Chemist Warehouse and buy that mask without having to like pay extra for shipping or do a big order to get it. Whereas this, I have to do an order. 
so that's why I wouldn't repurchase this but it's not because I don't like it. More hair products. I have the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Brilliantly Blight Blur. Brilliantly Brighter Shampoo and Conditioner. So the shampoo I finished up, it's fine. It's just shampoo. Like it's nothing, it's nothing special. The conditioner, it's not even finished. I swear it's still, I don't know. It's probably like it's basically full. Um, I don't like it. It does nothing for my hair. It like, it doesn't feel like it conditions my hair. It doesn't detangle. It's just... Blech. Um, I'm not going to use it. I tried and I tried and I tried. Even my mom won't use it. I, like, I'm mm -mm. goodbye, bitch. Goodbye. Not in this lifetime. Baby foot. So, this is my last uh, baby foot, foot peeling mask. I used this not too long ago. It's been maybe eight or nine days. Um, and I did something a little bit different with this one. I had a bath before I put it on. So I got in the bath, I had like bath bombs and I was like la 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 la. Um, and then I got in the shower to like wash my hair. So I was in water for probably like maybe an hour and a half in total. Um, and when I got out, I put these straight on my feet and I left them on for the recommended two hours and my feet peeled a lot so I have much better results with this um, this time around I don't actually know where to buy these I got these at a um, trade show it was the uh, salon Melbourne they call it something else now I can't remember what they call it but anyway that's where I got them um, I know I can buy baby uh, milky foot sorry at Priceline um, and maybe chemist warehouse and I can buy like Korean or Japanese ones online. I do I think I have two more pe uh, foot peeling masks in my stash. So I've got enough to like get me through the year. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase this to be honest. Knowing that I need to like soak my feet for so long before I can put this on and then leave it on for another two hours. Like it's a fucking process. Um, also kind of regret doing this during summer just gone say didn't expect my feet to peel because the first time i used them um they didn't peel very much so yeah my my feet are still peeling but i i wouldn't chase this down i'd try something new or i'd buy milky foot basically next care acne dressing i love these they're fantastic it's a holy grail product I will definitely repurchase. I already, I did at the end of last year, I bought nine of these to get me through 2018 with my skin giving me so many troubles or so much trouble at the moment. Um, I pretty much purchased enough of these to qualify for free shipping. So um, yeah, I love these. I will absolutely continue to purchase them. Packets and stuff. Um, this is a Leaders in Solution Aqua Ringer Mask. They're meant to be hydrating. They're not great. I don't love them. I really should declutter what I have, but since I haven't done that, I just sort of keep using them, but I wouldn't repurchase. Um, I have the Double N Zero Collagen Sheet Masks. So late last year, um, when I made the Next Care Acne Patch order, I purchased a box of these because they were on sale. It was a box of 10 for like maybe five US dollars or something like that, or $4.50. Um, and because I loved the Double and Zero Hydrating Mask, I thought I'd try the collagen one because collagen ones are usually good for like plumping out these lines. Not great not great um yeah i wouldn't repurchase them i'll continue to use what i have but it's not something i would buy again i just don't feel like it did a whole lot for me uh i've got the purity made simple wipes from philosophy i don't these just don't really work for me um i was using them to remove swatches off like my hand and stuff in the end um, the purity line, like the, um, the cleanser, 
and these just don't my skin doesn't really like them um, it causes me breakouts and sometimes like little sort of weird bumps that aren't quite pimples so not something that I would pick up in the future I have a shining nature purity mask this is the uh, animal jaguar sheet face mask I picked up a bunch of these in Japan um, because they're fun and they have like you know prints on them um, didn't do anything for me <laughs> nothing that I could uh, tell was impressive I have had quite dry skin recently um, especially with treating these spots and I don't feel like it really offered anything in the way of like hydration or plumping or anything like that so not something I would chase down again but whatever they're fun um, I also have the Leaders in Solutions Aloe Soothing Skin Renewal Mask. Again, didn't really do anything for me. I, hadn't, I have a bunch of them, so <sighs> it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, Plackers Dental Flosses. Love these. They're great. I've finished up many packets and I already have another packet, so there we go. Uh, these are the Lacura makeup rounds. I think this is officially my last packet. Um, I like these. They're great. I would repurchase them. I just have to go to Aldi. I've got a big box here. These are the Q Silica One a Day Intensive Skin Hair and Nail tablets vitamin tablets uh, I really like these I know these help my hair um, this is a three month supply and I've had these in the past multiple times when I'm trying to grow my hair um, and basically I know that I have to take I have to take a tablet every day for three months and then I have to continue taking tablets before I start to see growth but I'm definitely starting to see it so I'm really happy I've got another box on the go I'm gonna stay on these probably for maybe you know 12 months so once I finish the box I'm currently working on a couple more boxes um, and that should help to get this damn blonde out of my hair um, but yeah I love these they're fantastic they work for me I know some people think it's a gimmick whatever face wash is this everything yes so i have the um ips for nature ips oh ips and nature ips and nature i think that's how you pronounce it um it is the five seeds apple water brightening scrub um so it's a foaming face scrub and it doesn't smell like apples um i'm not sure if they use apple seeds for the actual like scrubby bit it smells like eucalyptus um and oh my god it's so foamy um i like this stuff but i find it too drying for my face so i wouldn't repurchase it also the scrubby particles are not like i don't consider them really scrubby to me it just feels like chunks so it's not something that i would spend money on again i have the Bior blemish fighting ice cleanser it's okay it's got like a nice cooling effect initially um but it is pretty stripping it's pretty intense um would i buy it again look i'm not gonna lie i probably would at some stage i always find myself sort of going back to my roots Bior was like one of those brands that I used when I was really young and sometimes I see stuff on their shelf and I'm like I just have to try that because I feel nostalgic so yeah I wouldn't rule it out I have the Ami Naturally Kind uh, Deep Pore Exfoliating Polish so this is a cream scrub um, the scrubby particles in this again they're too big and too sparse it just feels like chunks sort of scratching over your face it's not what i particularly look for in a face scrub so it's not one i would repurchase i think the brand sent me this along with a moisturizer and was it a toner i can't remember anyway they sent me this and then they sent it to me again so I'm pretty sure I've got a backup of this and I will most likely use it on my body 
um, when my skin is feeling dry, but I still need a scrub. So that's, yeah. I've got the more lychee flower hand and body lotion. I love this stuff. It smells delicious. I don't think it's super duper hydrating, so if you've got really dry body skin, it's probs not going to be that great for you. Um, but if you've got normal body skin and no like serious dryness, it's it's nice. Um, I would consider purchasing one of these in the future. A couple more body things. I've got the Rexona Clinical Protection Deodorant. Um, I have another one of these on the go and it's nearly finished. I need to buy like I need to buy deodorant quick smart. Um that'll be my first essential purchase of 2018. Deodorant. How fucking exciting. Um I really love this stuff. It's the only one I use. I will continue to use it and buy it. Dr. Jart Ceramidin body cream. This um was in a pack that was in a gift bag when we went to the Sephora Doncaster launch. Holy shit, I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. If you've got really like dry body skin, oh my god, so good. It was, I love this stuff. I love this for like my knees and my elbows because they're the spots that get really dry on me. Um, but I actually ended up just using this all over my body. I fucking love it. And yes, I probably would repurchase that. I I think it might be a little bit expensive though. So it might be one of those products that I pick up when my elbows and knees are really dry in winter and I'm like, I need something intense. A few face things. I've got the Derma House uh, Collagen Firming Cream. This is a daytime cream. Um, I loved this. It was so, so nice. I believe it might be, yeah, it's a Korean brand. Um, it's like a, it's almost got like a gel slash cream consistency. Uh, it's hydrating, but not greasy or anything like that. Um, great under makeup. I really enjoyed it. And I'm actually using a completely different brand. It's another Korean product um, as my day cream. And again, I just love it. It's so hydrating, but light. Um, it's like this really thin sort of cream gel type stuff just oh my god seriously the korean moisturizers knocking it out of the park for me this year love them oh god this shit nip and fab glycolic fix night pads extreme these are supposed to be like um super strength acid exfoliating facial pads to target oily and congested skin so you're supposed <laughs> nip and fab sell like a day pad and a night pad. So you use the day pads in the morning, night pads in the evening, and that's meant to be enough. I was just using these morning and night and they did not help me at all. Mm. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend money on them in the future. Uh, Pure Best Galactomyces, is that even a word? <laughs> Galactomyces 80 eye cream. Um, this is huge and I did not just use it as an eye cream. I actually used it like for hydrating around my face as well. Um, I liked this. This is a much thicker consistency to anything I've been using recently, um, but it sets beautifully on the face, so it's good under makeup and stuff like that. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. I don't think I would chase that one down, um, but I enjoyed it while I was using it. Okay, two more empties. I have Daiso Puff and Sponge Cleanser. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? I'm not. Uh, there'll be another one in next month's empties too, no doubt. And I have a itty bitty mini uh, Colgate Tonal Clean Mint travel toothpaste. These are just the ones that I keep in my handbag um, so I can put my trays in when I eat something. All right guys, so that's it for my empties, January empties. I'll be back at the end of February with empties. Um, hopefully my box won't be overflowing and I won't have to film it early again. Uh, but I suppose if it is, it's not a bad thing. Look, there wasn't much in this video. It's just that everything that I finished up was so big and it can't fit in the box. So 
it is what it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.